giving people all these things, doesn't that create some unintended consequences, some bad stuff? I don't think it creates bad stuff. It, it means that people can get preventive care. No unintended care. consequences coming up now? No, I don't, believe, I don't believe that for a moment. Well, Ron Pollack joins us now along with Michael Cannon of the Cato Institute. So let's pick up where we left off. Ron, no unintended consequences? What really needs to be focused on are what are the intended consequences that actually are coming true? People now who uh, are young adults who can't get coverage, they can stay on their parents' policy. Children who have pre-existing conditions like asthma or diabetes, they no longer can be stopped from getting insurance coverage. People who have a major illness or an accident, uh, they're no longer going to be subjected to a, a lifetime cap and how much an insurance company pays out. Okay, insurance so some people can, are getting some stuff. Government's good at spending our tax money to give people well, it's stuff. Well, so. a lot of this is not, John, this, a lot of this is not uh, spending tax dollars. When you tell an insurance company that they can't deny coverage due to pre-existing condition, that's not government spending. That's just That's free? regulating insurance companies to make sure that they don't, uh, uh, continue abuses that prevent people from getting private sector care. What well, you call them abuses, Michael Cannon, I'll let you respond. Well, the problem is that a lot of those regulations have some pretty hefty costs. Ron mentioned that... But they're free! It's just... Well, Ron, Ron, telling Ron, Ron mentioned that Ron, be nice. Ron mentioned that insurance companies have to uh, uh, let you keep your children on uh, as dependents until they're age 26. Well, that very provision was so costly it caused a union here in New York to drop 6,000 kids from their health insurance. Now those kids are uninsured. A lot of these provisions. They may have some benefits, as Ron said, but you know, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. What we have to look at is the actual results. 